All right, in this quick video, I'm gonna explain what these are. You've probably seen them, old toolmakers, toolboxes, or maybe at garage sales, and they look very antique don't they? Well, actually, these are, this particular pair right here, this is from the Starrett Company, this is a 243, number 243, hermaphrodite caliper. And I think this is a brown and sharp, or a left and roll, same thing, just a bigger uh, version, all right? Well, what are these used for? It's got a nice friction thing, uh, fit here, uh, just right. It doesn't move unless you give it some good firm pressure. Well, I've only used these a few times in my life, um, but I'm pretty sure I know what they are and used for. And uh, what I have used them for in the past is um, if I needed to scribe a line parallel to a surface like this, for whatever reason, and I'll explain this in a minute, why maybe you would do that, but that's what you do. Let's say I wanted a quarter inch offset from this profile. I would set my hermaphrodite calipers to a quarter inch, and then I could simply just follow this edge and scribe a line. You see that, right? All right. Same thing with, um, for whatever reason, I wanted a quarter inch line parallel to this curve here. I could literally take my hermaphrodite calipers and scribe that line. Let's see if we can see it out there here, right? barely. But that's the purpose, all right? Uh, blast from the past. Now, what I suspect these were made for, um, and why some of the old toolmakers had them. Believe it or not, many years ago, we used to work to scribe lines occasionally on die casting dies and on even injection mold patterns. It happened. Uh, you needed an odd radius that, you know, without the benefit of a CNC machine or 3D machining, you, sometimes you had to fudge it on. And here would be a really great example of that. An old pattern, wooden pattern, all right? And... I would suspect a lot of this radius work was done by hand. So to make it look nice so it's not uneven, you would scribe a line on both sides here and then hand work the radius on. That's my guess because you just don't see too many people using scribe lines anymore and especially a set of uh, calipers like this. But that's my theory anyways, hermaphrodite calipers. Uh, I saw these, uh, God bless Starrett, they still make these. Uh, 112 bucks. Starrett really doesn't seem to ever discontinue anything, do they? Uh, great company. So that's my theory. If you have a different one, I'd be glad to hear it. We'll see you on the next video.